Think of a wine that's round, full, smooth, and rich. What's not to love about a great Malbec? The popularity of Malbec has just been soaring in recent years. Malbec is a total crowd pleaser. Nine out of ten people will walk away from a party having enjoyed a great glass of Malbec. That is because Malbec offers tremendous abundance of fruit flavors. So it's really great for people who are new to wine and who enjoy a lot of fruity, smooth wines. In terms of the tannic structure, it's not dry or it's not too tannic. It's got these lovely round, soft edges. And in terms of texture, it's, it can be quite rich. It can be very compatible with food and really very enjoyable as a wine if it's been made really well. Malbec is solely responsible for putting Argentina on the world map because Malbec is a wine today that's being enjoyed by wine lovers all around the world. Today's Malbec is an A-grade, top-notch Malbec. In fact, it's so A-grade, it's called the A-series and it's called the Zucardi. This is named after the winemaker Sebastian Zucardi who's probably among the world's finest winemakers and arguably among Argentina's most talented winemakers. His real talent is being able to make wines that are Perua driven and are full of finesse. The vineyards where this wine comes from are from the Yuko Valley and they are planted on high altitude where they get a lot of freshness and a lot of vivacity and lots of mouth-watering acidity. So I'm very excited to taste the wine. I love the color of a Malbec. It's got this lovely deep ruby color, almost like a piece of jewelry. But uh, sometimes Malbecs can be really opaque and dark purple in color. I don't particularly enjoy that, but this one is a lovely deep ruby, which is quite attractive. On the nose, there is again lots of fruit. So I get black plums, there's blueberries, some black cherries coming through there's a hint of violet but it's also got a herbal sort of a note to it uh, which is giving it that lovely tang of complexity uh, on the wine there's a there's a scentedness to the to the right of the tip of the wine uh, which is again giving it this lovely lifted fresh sort of a lift on the nose let's take a sip now, contrary to a lot of Malbecs, which can be quite rich and fat on the palate, this one's quite fresh, lifted and aromatic. Now, it is fruit driven, but the fruit is really very elegant. There's a lot of the plums, black cherries, blueberries, freshly intermingling the aromatics that comes through. In terms of body, it's not full bodied, it's medium bodied. There's a lot of energy in the wine and there's some nice mineral complex notes that come through on the finish that make this wine really delicious and pleasing uh, even towards the end. In terms of personality of the wine, it's got a lot of character, it's got elegance, it's got finesse and it's also very polished. It's a lovely supple wine that's very enjoyable on the palate and not like an ordinary Malbec which can just be like a fruit bomb. I'm curious to see what the price of this wine is. So this wine costs 2950 only. I'm astounded actually because honestly, you know, sometimes you taste a price and I was tasting something far better and I thought, my God, this is going to be a premium wine, but I'm actually quite quite pleased to know it's only 2950 and I can only think that it is at this exceptional value because perhaps it is from Argentina if this was from uh, and I mean nothing wrong with Argentinian wines but I think some other countries or regions around the world just tend to command an unnecessary premium sometimes that we end up paying for the wines but I think this wine is uh, is exceptional value for money at this price point it's giving me lots of pleasure on the palate I can easily drink this on its own through the evening or I could think of pairing this with a wide variety of foods I would obviously go for something more hearty more robust something richer lots of flavor but I would definitely consider enjoying this wine with a dal makhani or a, uh, a, a smoky, like a tandoori dish, like a paneer tikka or a chicken tikka, 
Uh, you can even consider this with a lovely baked fish with like a tandoori baked fish, um, lots of grills. Uh, so anything that is hearty and wholesome would work really well with this wine. Uh, guys, I've really enjoyed this wine. I hope you'll give the Zucardi A-Series Malbec a try. And this one, guys, like I said, is from the Yuko Valley. So from the more elegant regions of Argentina. And I've had lots of, lots of fun trying this wine. So I hope so will you. Cheers.